As human civilizations flourished, so did infectious diseases, large numbers of people living near each other, and animals, often with poor sanitation and nutrition, provided fertile breeding grounds for disease. And new overseas trading routes spread the novel infections far and wide, creating the first global pandemics. The novel coronavirus took just a few months to sweep the globe. More than 2.5 million people worldwide have died, and we're still battling with this current pandemic. Today, let's tackle the top 10 deadliest pandemic throughout human history. Number 10. Swine Flu Before COVID-19, this was the world's most recent pandemic, infecting as much as 21% of the world's population. The 2009 swine flu pandemic was caused by a new strain of H1N1 that originated in Mexico in the spring of 2009, before spreading to the rest of the world. In one year, the virus infected as many as 1.4 billion people across the globe, and killed between 151,700 and 575,400 people, according to the CDC. Unlike most influenza strains, the pandemic H1N1 virus did not disproportionately infect adults older than 60 years. This was an unusual and characteristic feature of the H1N1 pandemic. On August 10, 2010, WHO declared an end to the global 2009 H1N1 influenza pandemic. However, H1N1 virus continues to circulate as a seasonal flu virus and causes illness, hospitalization, and deaths worldwide every year. Number 9. Cholera Pandemic Many people think of cholera as a 19th century disease. This is true for high-income countries. But elsewhere, cholera never went away. Seven cholera pandemics have occurred in the past 200 years, with the first pandemic originating in India in 1817. Additionally, there have been many documented cholera outbreaks, such as the 1991 to 1994 outbreak in South America, and more recently, the 2016 to 2021 Yemen cholera outbreak. Few societies have been spared this highly infectious bacterium, transmitted via feces-contaminated water, and causes severe diarrhea and vomiting. The best way to prevent cholera and other waterborne diseases is with the investment and maintenance of community-wide water, sanitation, and hygiene facilities. Peru, Vietnam, and Senegal are examples of countries that have eliminated mainly cholera outbreaks after investing in water and sanitation infrastructure and implementing targeted public health interventions. Number 8. Asian Flu Asian was one of the famous influenza pandemics in history. The Asian flu was a Category 2 flu pandemic outbreak of avian influenza that originated in China in early 1956, lasting until 1958. It originated from a mutation in wild ducks, combining with a pre-existing human strain. The estimated number of deaths was 1.1 million worldwide, and 116,000 in the United States. A vaccine for H2N2 was introduced in 1957, and the pandemic slowed down. There was a second wave in 1958, and H2N2 became part of the regular wave of seasonal flu. In 1968, the H2N2 Asian flu disappeared from the human population, and was believed to have gone extinct in the wild. Number 7. COVID-19 Pandemic In December 2019, in the region of Wuhan, China, a new novel coronavirus began appearing in human beings. It has been named COVID-19, a shortened form of coronavirus disease of 2019. By March of 2020, the virus had spread to nearly every corner of the world, with entire nations under stay-at-home orders. Schools shifted to online learning, workplaces transitioned to Zoom. On March 11, 2020, the World Health Organization declared a global pandemic. The virus spreads mainly through the air when people are near each other. It leaves an infected person as they breathe, cough, sneeze, or speak, and enters another person via their mouth, nose, or eyes. It may also spread via contaminated surfaces. People remain contagious for up to two weeks, and can spread the virus even if they are asymptomatic. As of April 2021, more than 131 million cases have been confirmed, with more than 2.85 million deaths attributed to COVID-19, making it one of the deadliest pandemics in history. Number 6. Antonine Plague The Antonine Plague, sometimes referred to as the Plague of Galen, erupted in 165 CE, at the height of Roman power throughout the Mediterranean world during the reign of the last of the five good emperors, Marcus Aurelius Antonius, 161-180 CE. Nobody has ever nailed down the exact cause, but symptoms recorded by a physician named Galen, gruesome skin sores, high fever, diarrhea, and sore throats, strongly suggest it was smallpox and measles. Many historians believe that the epidemic was first brought into the Roman Empire by soldiers returning home after a war against Parthia. They had spread a disease that would kill over 5 million people and decimate the Roman army. Number 5. New World Smallpox 
Smallpox was endemic to Europe, Asia, and Arabia for centuries, a persistent menace that killed 3 out of 10 people it infected, and left the rest of the world with pockmarked scars. But the death rate in the Old World paled compared to the devastation wrought on native populations. In the New World, when the smallpox virus arrived in the 15th century, with the first European explorers. Although we may never know the exact magnitudes of the depopulation, it is estimated that upwards of 80 to 95 percent of the Native American population was decimated within the first 100 to 150 years following 1492, according to a 2010 paper in the Journal of Economic Perspectives. Centuries later, smallpox became the first virus epidemic to be ended by a vaccine. Number 4. Plague of Justinian Three of the deadliest pandemics in recorded history were caused by a single bacterium, Yersinia pestis, a fatal infection otherwise known as the plague. The plague arrived in Constantinople in 542 CE, almost a year after the disease first made its appearance in the empire's outer provinces. The outbreak continued to sweep throughout the Mediterranean world for another 225 years, finally disappearing in 750 CE. Plague-ridden fleas hitched a ride on the black rats that snacked on the grain. The plague decimated Constantinople and spread like wildfire across Europe, Asia, North Africa, and Arabia, killing an estimated 30 to 50 million people, perhaps half of the world's population. Number 3. HIV-AIDS Pandemic First identified in the Democratic Republic of the Congo in 1976, HIV-AIDS has proven itself a global pandemic killing more than 36 million people since 1981. Currently, between 31 and 35 million people are living with HIV. The vast majority of those are in sub-Saharan Africa, where 5% of the population is infected, roughly 21 million people. With increasing awareness over the past two decades, significant global efforts have been mounted to address the epidemic, and considerable progress has been made. The number of people newly infected with HIV, especially children, and the number of AIDS-related deaths has declined over the years. The number of people with HIV receiving treatment increased to 25.4 million in 2019. Number 2. Spanish Flu The Spanish Flu, also known as 1918 Influenza Pandemic, was an unusually deadly influenza pandemic caused by the H1N1 Influenza A virus. It was lasting from February 1918 to April 1920. According to the CDC, the number of infected is staggering as many as 500 million about a third of the world's population at the time, with estimates of 50 million deaths worldwide. Modern advancements helped its spread in transportation and troop movements during World War I. When the Spanish king became gravely ill with the virus, the country became the focal point for reporting and eventually even lent its name to the particular H1N1 strain. With no vaccine to protect against influenza infection and no antibiotics to treat secondary bacterial infections, control efforts worldwide were limited to non-pharmaceutical interventions such as isolation, quarantine, good personal hygiene, disinfectants, and limitations of public gatherings. Number 1. The Black Death The Black Death was a devastating global epidemic of bubonic plague that struck Europe and Asia in the mid-1300s. The plague arrived in Europe in October 1347, when 12 ships from the Black Sea docked at the Sicilian port of Messina. It was caused by a strain of the bacterium Yersinia pestis that is likely extinct today, and was spread by fleas on infected rodents. Up to 200 million people killed is a big deal no matter how you look at it. In the 14th century, the world's population was estimated to be 443 million. That means the Black Death killed between 17% and 45% of the entire global population. Modern understanding of the bubonic plague bacteria posited that an increase in Europe's rat populations meant more fleas. The bodies of victims were buried in mass graves. In the realm of infectious diseases, a pandemic is a worst-case scenario. When an epidemic spread beyond a country's borders, that's when the condition officially became a pandemic. That is it for today's video. We hope you learned something new today. Let this be a reminder that we are still facing this COVID-19 pandemic, so let us take care of ourselves more. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, District 10 TV, for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.